I'm Beth Hopkins. I've currently got an exhibition at the Autis. It's called Future Selves. It's a new exhibition of work that I made in response to research at King's College about advanced directives for people with bipolar. It was a product of several people who took part in workshops, their artwork that they made during the workshops and then writing that they did about the experience of having bipolar and also the experience of making and what they took away from that. The plan had always been to engage with other people with bipolar, um, but unfortunately for the first part of the pandemic I was sort of working in isolation really. So I was at home working with materials and creating a lot of the artwork that you see here. So the Mental Health and Justice Project is quite a broad overarching research project looking at mental health and human rights mainly. Um, my part of it was advanced directives, so for people with bipolar, which is where you can say and plan in advance of becoming unwell, what you'd like, how you'd like to be treated, so what medication you would take or wouldn't take, if you'd be willing to go into hospital or not, and things like that. So a big part of my research project was a series of workshops with other people with bipolar and that was just sort of created a creative space for people to sort of talk about all sorts of things really but also the idea of advanced directives and what that could mean for them and the positives and some of the more complex ethical issues around it. Future Selves was a publication that was made up of stories from people with bipolar and pictures of artwork that they'd made in a workshop and the objects they brought along were meaningful to them and then as part of the process we sort of bound them with strips of fabric and materials and string and they were all sort of meaningful for the person as well. So there are two ways that I'll start. There's materials and processes, so using and testing and experimenting different things like concrete or wax or plaster and the different ways they behave, particularly when they're mixed with fabric. And then the other element is my research practice. So quite often that would be working with other people and creating a sort of supportive safe space for people to make and have conversations at the same time as making. Often I'm inspired by the people I'm working with so be that in a workshop or so as part of this research project there was a survey that was done of people with bipolar about whether they thought advanced directives were a helpful thing or not. Drawing from that and the ideas that people came out with in that survey was like really key to what I came up with as a response. A good artwork leaves space for the viewer. So it's not purely what the artist wants to communicate, it's space for the viewer to find their own meaning in it. So for the works for this exhibition, I deliberately left it open to interpretation and whatever the viewer brings to it and their own meaning is accommodated as well.